Hello everyone, MC Tammer here with a supplemental video outlining how to download my mods specifically. I received several comments on my overly detailed guide to installing mods, pointing out that my site is somewhat confusing to navigate. All I can say is, I know and I'm sorry. One of the downsides of striking out on your own is that free tools are not optimized for your specific needs. Uh, I'm somewhat limited by the format of the wiki software that I'm using, and I'm not a web designer, so I'm doing the best I can with what I have. With that out of the way, here's a breakdown of how everything on my site is organized. Everything is laid out by category here on the sidebar. Everything related to weapons, armor, companions, etc. is grouped together under the relevant heading. For the majority of my mod pages, this top section here is what you're looking for, with the download link, change log, and links to older versions of the mod. Sometimes I'll release an update as just a plugin, such as you can see here. I'll do this if none of the files themselves have changed, because it would be a waste of space and bandwidth to repackage everything and upload it a second time. In cases such as this, I'll provide a link to the old version that contains the relevant files, and you'll have to download that, install it as normal, then overwrite the old ESM or ESP file with the new version. With my vendor and companion plugins, the layout is a little different. There's a lot of information that I need to convey, so the page is very information dense. If all you want is to download it, the link to the latest version can always be found here in the info box, right underneath the photo. If all this is still too confusing, you can also just browse my Google Drive directly. The link to it is on the sidebar here. And again, everything is sorted into relevant folders. Everything having to do with weapons, including vendors, additional tweaks, etc., is in the weapons folder. Everything having to do with armor is in the armor folder, and so on. Oh, one last thing. Regarding the version numbers, I use what I call an integer decimal versioning system. The first number, or the integer, indicates a major change that will break backwards compatibility with earlier versions, meaning you should not upgrade to a new integer version mid-game. For example, if you're running version 1.2 and I release a version 2.0, wait until you've finished your current playthrough before upgrading, or else you could experience game-breaking issues. The second number, or decimal, indicates an update within the current major version. For example, if you were running version 2.2 before putting the game away for a few months, and then when you come back there's a version 2.9 available, it's generally safe to upgrade right away. This may result in some oddities though, such as vendors not restocking with the new items. This is because the script that adds items to the base game leveled lists only runs once on startup and if you upgrade mid-playthrough, the game thinks the script has already run, so it doesn't do it again. In any case, it's always safest to complete a playthrough before upgrading. Sometimes you may also encounter a version number with three digits, such as version 1.0.1. .1. The third digit indicates a hotfix or some other important but minor change that doesn't warrant its own new decimal. And again, these are generally safe to upgrade mid-game. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching, and happy modding!